Okay, hello. Well, I'm doing as I said, I'm making a tutorial on how to make a 999 mile per hour car. It's going to be very brief. So, um, if you need, like, extra help, go and see my previous video. Some cars will work better than others, so, um, I don't know. The one that worked the best for me was the Tesla. The Tesla Roadster. I don't feel like doing something different, but I don't know what. Hmm. <clears throat> I have no clue. I'll do a BMW. No, this is ugly. No, I don't want that. M5, no. Yeah, I'll do this. The Z4 M Coupe. I don't need to change the color. I don't go into the car because we need to be in the car when we're hacking it. I don't know why I was doing that. I haven't planned out this video or anything, so... Anyway. What you gotta do now is leave the car completely stock. Make sure you're in it. So you can see by that. You can see the name of the car. And we're in it. So we just save it. And yeah. We'll put it back on the PC. Quit the game. Yes, replace. Now I do recommend you make backups on your computer. Otherwise you may lose it either. I've never lost mine yet, but I do recommend you making backups because I had a friend lose their data. Anyway, back to the PC. Okay, hopefully you can hear me good. Oh, where's my recorder? Okay, yep. So now we're on the computer. I hate this microphone because it gets tangled in everything. So I just smashed it, a bit. <laughs> smashed it about a bit beforehand. So got to make sure it still works. Okay. Now I've prepared a tutorial on how to do the 999 mile per hour hack. Now this is for the old version of um, the workshop program. This is 9.7, which is later than later version than the one I released in my previous video. I updated it a little bit, but um, I'm not using this one anymore. I've made a 2.0, so I'm just going to use my Ultimate File Manager, which I also created in Visual Basic. Visual Studio is horrible. I don't like it. Um, where is it? It's G5 Kai Workshop, not always two. Stupid Visual Studio. Made all my programs have error reports. So I now hate it. So I use Visual Basic again.
but anyway. So now I've got to put my USB in from the PlayStation. <coughs> Hopefully, got a recording system audio. I better have a recording system audio. Okay. I'm doing this video very unprofessionally, as you might have noticed. No. Okay. Those are all my viruses. I don't want to run those. Um, okay, so I'm pretty sure that was just G-Drive. Yep. So the path to my save data will be still valid, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use this. So you just go browse. Instead of browsing for the folder that your um, save is in, you browse for the actual GT5.0 file. So you just go here. So it just makes it easier. So you see, this is the file you want. So you go and open that. And it comes up with that. You type your username in. You have to use capitals and everything. It's case sensitive. So if I type my username in without the capitals for NHP, it won't work. You have to use capitals and where your username has capitals and all that. Otherwise, we can now click load. And once all these are loaded up, it's good. Okay, now we can follow this. So we bought the car, left 100% stock. We've used it, so we're currently using this. This does not need to be done. I figured that out. That doesn't need to be done. Done that. Okay, first thing is to set the grip pack to 255. This doesn't actually increase the grip. It only works in update 2.11. What these hacks are doing is distracting the game from the transmission hack so that the game doesn't go, oh the transmission is hacked, I'm gonna go and reset it it would be distracted and it works every time <coughs> um, it only works for like um, the last gear so um, I tried modifying the final gear and it didn't do anything so now we want we don't have to do this. Don't have to have the chassis or the um, engine. But if you want it to go 9 or 9 miles an hour, you're going to need the engine. And if you want it to accelerate quickly, you're going to want to have the chassis. Otherwise, it's going to take forever to accelerate. X2010 engine. Don't put this in for 999 miles an hour. If you want to use this before you um, transfer your data to your USB to hack it, install the customizable transmission. You can have eight gears to play around with, but if you install this now, uh, hack 999 miles an hour hack won't work. So now we're up to this. So we're going to open this. Set the last gear to point 0.1. This is what you do. See, all these are zero, so you don't worry about them. You just set the the last gear that is actually a number other than zero, like it was, to point 0.1, and leave everything else, and click OK. Error hack. This doesn't actually need to be that. So, um, I'd actually put around, depends on the car, usually about 60 to... About 110 works best for downforce. And, yep. Okay. Next, spring rates. This is again, doesn't do anything to the actual spring rate. It's just distracting the game. And because this is decimal, this should actually be 255 by 255. And height, again, it's distracting the game. Not Actually, the hack actually won't do anything. Suspension will remain the same height. And then we can go and modify the turbo to FFFF. Notice how we don't make these FFs. Generally, if you do that, the torque curve will be very messed up. Most of the time it's messed up anyway, but if you do it, it's like guaranteed to be messed up. And now we are ready to save. 
so save and encrypt and we can close and now we can stop this six minutes old crap okay we're back on the camera got my USB here which I'm about to go and plug in now this has got my hacked data and go and copy it back and overwrite yay and hopefully it will work well it better work it's worked every other single time if it doesn't work now well then that's just very bad luck only time when I start recording how to do a 909 hack doesn't work <laughs> That would be a very big inconvenience. Oh shit, hang on. Okay, I forgot about that. My computer is about to play a video. Now again, this can take a long time to load. The little text on the bottom sometimes up to two minutes I found so be patient wait for the orange hard drive light to stop flickering for about 10 to 20 seconds before giving up <clears throat> okay we can see the chassis is hacked already Now the first thing we do is oil change immediately. Yeah, I don't care. See how much power we got. Should have around 200,000 to about 400,000. 500,000, holy crap. That's a lot of power. Okay, we should be done. Now I'm gonna just go and make sure it worked. So now we can, to see if it actually worked without testing on the track, you can go and do this. Same sheet. So see? how on 6th gear it's greyed out but it's point 0.1 so you can see the hack worked when you set it to point 0.1 do not, and I repeat do not ever go in and try and edit this if you click that button all the ratios will reset and you'll have to do the hack again so do not ever ever go into that so we can install parts without affecting the hack. We are going to need suspension because if we don't install the suspension it's going to be very soft and make it very horrible to drive. Okay, that should be it. Just one last check. Transmission's still good. Power curve is awesome. It's not screwed up. So I'm actually hoping this car's actually gonna go pretty fast. Hopefully it's gonna go faster than my Tesla. It's currently my fastest car and I haven't managed to make anything faster than it yet. 
some... In fact, actually stop there. I'll go straight into speed test. So I can show you how fast it actually goes. Okay, we're gonna make sure our settings are good, so we want manual obviously, turn off all traction control or anything that's gonna limit the power, and begin measuring top speed. I'll show you how to um, get the actual speed after this run. Hopefully this is, actually goes really quickly. And quickly change it up into sixth gear before we start. Now I'm in kilometers an hour here, so we can't actually see. Well, that is really quick. That feels quick compared to my other cars. Yeah. Uh, So you can see that it is in kilometers an hour, so but I'll show you a feature that allows you to see the actual top speed of the car. You can see here in the top right corner, I just get my finger around here, you see the speed, top speed in kilometers an hour or miles an hour depending on what you have it is. So you can actually see how fast it actually goes instead of just 999. So let's see if this one actually beats my Tesla, which goes 1,900 kilometers an hour. <clears throat> Hopefully it will, because I actually want a car that does that. In the moment of truth. No, it hasn't. 1,800. No, well, that's still pretty quick. And there you go, that's how you make a 999 mile per hour car in this update. I'll provide a link to the new version of the workshop so you can use it. And yeah, the end. I have nothing else to say. <laughs>